And today I'm joined by Perry Johnson, who has now suspended his campaign for presidency for the GOP ticket. Tell me, Perry, what went into this decision? How did you know it was time to suspend your campaign? Well, I always knew that one of the most important keys to ever getting elected is to get on the debate stage, because that is really where your message can be heard. And it's heard by a lot of people. We're talking about anywhere from 10 to 11 million people on a regular basis. And then it is rehashed over the period of the next month or so till they have the next debate. And it is a very important concept. Now, in the first debate, they laid out parameters that you had to meet. What is interesting is that I met all the parameters, but yet the RNC at 11 o'clock on Monday night called me after I had been prepping for the debate and told me that they decided to disqualify a bunch of polls. So that was a shock to me, obviously. They decided they were gonna disqualify the McLaughlin poll. Uh, they then said they were going to disqualify the Harvard Harris poll. They were gonna dis disqualify the caravan poll. And they were, the most shocking one to me was that they were disqualifying the victory strategic. And the reason it shocked me was that they said they're disqualifying it because there are only 38 states from which you got actual responses. Well, this was done by a statistician. And when I inquired as to what the normal number of states respond when you have essentially 70 million Republicans and 100 million independents, and you're only looking at 832, which is about one in 200,000, how many states normally respond? They didn't know because they didn't have that information for the other states. And for them to just auto arbitrarily decide they're going to disqualify this poll was bizarre to me. But nevertheless, I'm in a position where I cannot get on that debate stage, and it makes it very difficult for me to realistically win this election. So I looked and said, it looks to me as though we have a clear choice, and that choice is Donald Trump, because President Trump did such an extraordinary job as president in so many ways. I couldn't do any way, I couldn't good conscience do anything but support him. I ask you very simply, did you ever think we were going to have a war when Trump was in office? In fact, he was having peace treaties that were being signed. And now here we are with the Ukraine war. We have a war going on in the Middle East. And we were thinking our biggest problem was that China might invade Taiwan. So we have a crisis unlike anything we faced. Simultaneously, we're in a situation right now where we have rampant inflation and the government is spending money like it's going out of style. We are now $33.5 trillion in debt. Remember when I talked to you earlier, it was like 32 trillion. Well, now we're up a trillion and a half more in debt. And people wonder why it costs so much for groceries. They've gone up, what, 40% in about three years. It costs so much to buy a house, you can't even afford it because the interest rates are through the roof. Why? Because the government spends so much money. And then you go out there and you try to buy gas or you're going to be eating your home this, this winter. And you're wondering, wow, why is it so expensive? Again, thank the government. And the government is not paying any attention to it. And they're going hog wild. My two cent plan would have worked. And the message was starting to resonate. I think people are starting to realize that the government cannot go hog wild and spending your money. And that has to stop. Now, President Trump has a history of doing a great thing with the economy. He got the unemployment rate down to 3.5%. We never had a better economy than we did under Trump. And we had a situation where there wasn't inflation. We had peace. And when you take a look at the polls right now, who is more likely to win of all the candidates running? It's President Trump. When he goes up against Biden, he's what? Now four points ahead in just about every poll, in some cases higher. So I want to make sure we have a Republican in office. And the best way to assure that is to have President Trump be the candidate right now.